Hello and welcome. A little gentle sequence for you. It won't be that long. Um, I'm not entirely sure where we're going, but we're going to start sitting. Take your feet so they're hip width apart, bend your knees, spread your toes. Quite a nice tip. You can Pick your little toe up, draw the foot across, and then pop your big toe down. It spreads your toes, gives a bit of drawing across the feet, which can be nice. Okay. And then we'll start. Let's just pop our hands on our knees. Soften down through the shoulders. See if you can come forward onto the sit bones a little bit and then start to extend up through the spine. Try and get your head back over your neck. Think about the space in between the vertebrae in the neck particularly and the space at the base of the skull. So you're kind of getting sucked up from the crown of your head. Some of you already might know I have an imaginary giant who has a multicolored beard and a multicolored plunger. He's very jolly. And he helps me in these kind of situations because he sticks the plunger on the top of my head and sucks me up. And that imagery has really helped over the years in all sorts of stuff. Okay. A couple of deeper breaths here, feeling the breath in the belly, in the lower back, kind of drawing it down low. As you exhale, maybe let yourself sink down a bit. And then starting to come forward, I'm just starting to lean forward very slowly so that you can get a sense of what might need stretching out through the back. Bringing the arms forward, slowly curling down, maybe through the legs, and dropping the head. Letting the head be really heavy. And breathing there, breathing into the back of the body. Finding a spaciousness as you inhale. And a softening, a releasing of tension, tightness as you exhale. Heavy head. Next, inhale, lifting the head. Very slowly lifting the head. Start to extend through the neck. Keep the shoulders down and heavy as you draw the hands to the knees and lengthen up again through the crown. Finding the length through the spine. La, la. We're going to take the hands behind us, fingers pointing in towards the body, taking those hands onto the mat, splatting the fingers, making as much contact with the mat as you can. And notice what that feels like. You might notice the texture of your mat. The temperature, and what's going on on the skin of your hands. Pushing up now through the hands. Feel the stretch to start with in the wrist, and then up through the forearms, 
elbows, upper arms, feel the lift. And then getting to the shoulders and drawing them back. Feeling the stretch of the skin on your chest. Maybe bringing a smile, a little smile to the lips. You could think about the, I really like this, you can think about the corners of your eyes turning up a little bit as though they're smiling. Easy for me though, I've got the sunlight coming in. Easy to, yeah, smile at the sun. You want to go even further with this, you could tilt the pelvis and bring an arch all the way through the spine. You can look up if you want to, you could keep your head forward. That's the head's heavy, right? Don't go throwing it back unnecessarily. Slowly coming back out of that. That might mean rolling back into the sit bones. And then we're going to peel the palms off. So you peel the palms off the mat. Get some stretch maybe through those fingers. Find the length through the spine as you bring the hands back to the knees. Curl down forward through your legs, drop the head, heavy head, breathe into this again, does it feel different from last time? Releasing as you exhale. Inhale, lifting the head, finding length through the neck, the weight of the shoulders, hands back to the knees, lengthen up again through the spine, take the hands back, fingers pointing towards the body. Connect with the mat. Think about what your hands feel like and what your feet, feet feel like, actually. Might have been a little bit missed out. And then starting to push through the hands and find that length and that stretch again through the arms or the shoulders. Smile. Take that all the way through the spine if you want to or don't if you don't. Few breaths and return the spine to a vaguely neutral position and drop the knees to the right. This might be great for you if you can feel a stretch going on and that feels nice. You might want to stay here or you could also add that pushing up through the hands again. And this time you'll find it's very much the left side of the chest. It's opening up that left pectoral muscle stretching. You could draw the left shoulder back a little bit more. Smile and breathe. <laughs> Release. Come back to center. Even yourself off. And then drop down to the left. And pushing through the hands again, if you want to. Draw the shoulder, find the stretch in the right pec this time. Release back to center. Even yourself off. Let's have one more stretching up from here through the hands and 
lengthening, stretching, opening. Okay. So now we're going to come on to all fours. You can just find your way to all fours. And also you could cross your legs, come onto your knees, pop your hands down and step those knees back. If you want to do. Okay, do get something for your knees if you need to be on something, um, you know, a blanket. And then if you need something onto your wrist, you could always roll your, so some people, we've done quite a lot of wrist stuff already, and now we're back on the wrists again. So you might want to roll up your mat and just rest the heel of the hand on the mat. So the um, angle isn't so great. Um, and also you could, if you want to bring the hands further forward. Ideally, we're stacking them. So wrists underneath shoulders, nice bloody hands, driving down through the shins. Draw the shoulders away from the ears, look straight down at the mat. Extend through the back of the neck. Maybe tuck the chin a bit and then draw the back of the head up towards the ceiling. And then let's switch our serratus anterior muscles on. Um, so these babies run through your armpit. To switch them on, you think about the outer edge of the armpit, drawing forward. And that externally, essentially externally rotates your shoulders um, and allows you to, well, it lets you spiral out of the wrists. So you want to think about the inside edges of your arm, of your um, elbows pointing forward. Lengthening through the back of the neck. Take a nice deep inhale and let your belly fall towards the floor. And leave it there. So breathe for a while with the belly just soft. Don't, oh, I've just noticed that I'm arching in my spine. So try not to arch in your spine. Allowing the belly to flubble down. <laughs> okay, so we're going to activate the belly. Thinking about your hands and your knees, you're not going to move the hands or the knees. But think about drawing the hands towards the knees and the knees towards the hands. So you activate your belly. And then at the same time, breathing deep. So you're drawing the breath down into the belly, even though you're activating the belly. Releasing that. Nice deep inhale, and as you exhale, turn to look at your right foot. Breathe down the left side of your body. Feel the stretch. I've got a lovely stretch in my left hip. Come back to center and go the other way. Come back to center. Tuck the tailbone under and curl up through the spine. So you want to move really slowly. See if you can unpeel each vertebrae as you come all the way up. Breathing at the top. With your next inhale, tilting the pelvis, bottom goes into the air, the belly goes towards the floor, the chest opens, shoulders draw back, the gaze is forward. Exhale, tuck your tailbone under, curl all the way up, cog by cog, as 
fluid as you can make it. Smooth movement. Inhale, tilt the pelvis the other way, belly to the floor. Open the chest, gaze it forward. Using the rhythm of your breath. See if you can flow through this spinal segmentation. After your next inhale, return to a neutral spine and pull back into child's pose. So if you have with your knees, it can be really nice to roll up a blanket and put it behind your knees in child's pose so you're not having to make such an angle. And then I, I really recommend making child's pose whatever you need it to be. That might have, that might mean your legs are wider apart. You might like your arms out. Potato too. Um, and then I get the knuckle of my thumb in my third eye like that. you can put your forehead on the floor and take the hands behind hold your wrists whatever works And then peel yourself up from there, curling through the spine. And come up. And take your hands to prayer at your heart center. Find the length through the crown. Start to open, open your hands as though they were a book. You open them up and then you roll over onto your little fingers and onto the backs of your hands. You bring the fingers in towards the chest and keep going round, trying to get as much of the back of your hands touching as you can. And you come all the way around and back into prayer. And then we'll do that again. Open your prayer like a book, roll over those little fingers, backs of the hands come together, Keep as much of the backs of the hands together as you can as you circle round and back. One more time, people, one more time. Open like a book, roll round. Okay. Now. Let's come to sitting. Not that we weren't sitting before. Okay, so the thing about sitting is you want your hips higher than your knees. So for me, I'm going to sit on this bolster. You could sit on blocks or a bolster or a cushion or a chair, even. <laughs> Wherever you're sitting, it's a really good idea to make sure your hips are higher than your knees. And the reason for that is that it brings you onto the front of the sit bones. It, it enables your lower back to support you properly. It, it, it stops this like slouching. Um, and ultimately your back is a lot healthier for it. Um, so I would check if I were you, your car, your office chair, all of those things. And I, I just put a couple of cushions on mine um, and it makes all the difference. So any, it doesn't matter how you want to sit. Uh, I'm obviously sitting cross-legged, but you don't have to. So get yourself comfortable in a comfortable sitting position and sitting upright. Soften the shoulders. Really let them fall away from the ears. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's drop the head down to the right. 
and extend the left arm out. If you want to. Dropping head to the right might have been enough. Which goes for everything, by the way. Just do what feels right. It does take a little while to tap into what feels right there. Uh, on the side of caution, I would. Um, maybe turn the palm up. Make sure when you turn the palm up, you're turning it so that the shoulder opens. Stretching out through the fingers, maybe. Feel that stretch through the fascia. Bring the head back up. Bring the hand in. Drop the head. Over to the left. Let make sure this left shoulder is soft as well. Extending the arm out if you want to. Stretching out through the fingers. If you want a little bit more, you turn the arm so it faces up. But just remember to. Open the shoulder, don't shut it. Okay, Coming back up. I wasn't going to do that, I digress. Um, while we're here, let's turn the head to look over the right shoulder, back to center, and go over to the left. We'll just do that again. Center and right. And smashing. Mm -hmm. Left hand over onto the right leg somewhere. Find length through the crown of the head, stay to the base of the skull, all that. Shenanigans. Nice deep inhale, and as you exhale, start to draw the Right, think about the rib cage drawing round. So you're drawing the right rib cage round and the shoulder, breathing into that right rib cage, feeling that twist up through the spine, extend from the crown of the head, keep the length in the back of the neck. Maybe bring a little smile to the eyes and the mouth. The sun keeps reminding me. Going, oh, mm. huh. coming back to center. You can shamoo yourself the other way. Same thing, think about the rib cage coming round, the shoulder, think about the extension through the crown. Back to center. If you've got your legs crossed, swap them over, swap the cross of the legs. And then we're going to inhale, take the arms all the way up. When you take your arms up, when you get to shoulder height, turn the palms up and then stretch up. And we'll stretch up as much as we can with the right arm and then meet it with the left. Whoa. Even them off and then float them back down again. And as you float them back down, stretch out through the fingers and the fingertips. Feel that stretch all the way through your arms as you bring them back down. Inhale, take them up. Stretch up with the left arm and then meet it with the right. Even them off. Float the arms back down. Notice the sensations, palms of the hands, tips of the fingers. Then again, inhale up. Stretching up with both fingertips, both fingertips, or all your fingertips. And then float back down. Sensation. Ooh, inhale up. 
stretching up. And then we're going to bring the right arm down and lean over to the right. See if you can sink some weight down through the left sit bone. Think about turning the left side of your body up towards the sky, stretching out through the fingertips. And then breathe down that left side, breathe into that stretch. Inhale, coming back up, and then dropping the left hand down, and stretching up through the right. Breathing into the right side, turning the right side up to the sky, trying to sink down through the right sit bone. Inhale, come back up. Right hand goes down. In. That's so nice. I think we should do it again. Coming back up to center, popping the hands on the legs, find the length through the crown. Inhale, and as you exhale, tuck the tailbone under and curl through the spine again, drop the head. Inhale, tilting the pelvis the other way, opening up in the front of the body. Again, tuck the tailbone under, curl. And then inhale and open. Once more, tuck the tailbone under, curl through, stretch through the spine. Inhale, tilt the pelvis coming onto the front of the sit bones. Turning fine. And I'm just going to invite you now to come to a comfortable position for relaxation. So you might want to lie down. Um, you might want something underneath your knees, you might want a pillow, you might want a blanket, you might want to sit. I like sitting like this. Um, I also like lying down. But just choosing whatever position feels the most comfortable for you. Begin by just noticing the breath. How it's moving through your body. Sensations in the nostrils, the throat, the rib cage. The rise of the belly. Noticing the rhythm of your breath, that gentle ebb and flow, the inhale and the exhale. And taking the awareness to the top of your head. Relaxing the spine. Relaxing 
welcoming the sensations in the front of the head. Does the skin feel like? Can you get a sense of the skin? Letting the forehead be smooth. Softening the eyes. You might notice the flicker of light and dark at the eyelid. The shimmer of the little micro muscles around the eye. Each exhale softening a little bit. If you can soften the cheekbone and release the bottom jaw. Inside the right nostril. Letting it flare as you inhale. Inside the left. The right ear, the right ear listening. The left ear, the left ear listening. Can you imagine the space inside your top? Feel like inside your top bed. Bottom bed. What does it feel like? Broaden across the roof of your mouth. Find space in between the teeth in the top jaw. Soften inside the right cheek and inside the left cheek. Find the space inside the tongue. Right shoulder, left shoulder. Can you imagine the space between your shoulders? Can you imagine the space inside your shoulders? Inside your shoulders, tiny particles dancing inside your shoulders. What do they feel? Let the shoulders dissolve, melt into the earth. The palms of your hands are 
sensations in the palms of the hands and the tips of the fingers. Softening the hands. And again, softening the hands. And feeling the breath in the rib cage, the belly. Finding space in the pelvic floor. The weight of your leg. Sensations in the soles of your feet. Soles of the feet and the tips of the toes. Inhale up from the tips of the toes. And as you do that, notice the whole of your body. Notice the sensations at play in the whole of the Trillions of cells expanding as you inhale and softening as you exhale. Floating in a sea of breath. Savoring the last few breaths here. You might take a deeper breath. You might think about turning your head to the right. And then coming back to center and turning to the left. And however else you feel like bringing movement back, maybe a stretch out through the arms and the legs, wriggling fingers and toes, maybe some juicy little circles with the wrists and ankles, and then drawing the knees into the chest, a little rockety roo, shamu. Rolling onto your right side. Last few breaths. Make
making your way up. Keep shifting. Taking the hands to prayer at the heart center. Finding length once more through the crown. Nice deep inhale, folding forward. 